My BFI player choice this week is a 60s British pop movie classic that pretty much laid the template for the pop promo explosion that happened in the 1980s. Whip smart, super sharp, and at times profoundly weird, it finds the Fab Four making their big screen debut in a black and white gem that owes as much to the French New Wave as it does to the absurdist strands of the British pop scene. Richard Lester's A Hard Day's Night. Hey, pardon me for asking, but who's that little old man? Uh, what little old man? That little old man. Oh, that one, that's my grandfather. Your grandfather? Yeah. That's not your grandfather. It is, you know. But I've seen your grandfather. He lives in your house. Oh, that's my other grandfather, but he's my grandfather as well. How do you reckon that one out? Well, everyone's entitled to two, aren't they? And it's my other one. We know that, but what's he doing here? Well, my mother thought the trip would do him good. How's that? He's nursing a broken heart. Ah, oh, poor old thing. Hey, mister. Are you nursing a broken heart? Shot over a period of two months in 1964 on a knockdown budget, A Hard Day's Night was envisaged by its producers, United Artists, as a cheapy knockoff which would recoup its losses on record sales. The script was by Alan Owen, whom the Beatles trusted because he'd written No Trams to Lime Street and demonstrated a fine ear for Liverpudlian dialogue. Owen spent time with the group who described the somewhat relentless cycle of their pop-tastic lives and then wrote a script which portrayed them as essentially trapped within their fame, constantly trying to escape their fans. The supporting cast includes a veritable who's who of British entertainers, from Victor Spinetti and Lionel Blair to Derek Guiler and Wilfred Bramble, the last of whom played Paul's endlessly awkward grandfather. Having achieved fame in Steptoe and Son as a dirty old man, Bramble is repeatedly referred to here as a very clean old man, a joke which often gets lost on modern audiences. Now considered to be one of the most influential Brit picks of the period, A Hard Day's Night has lost none of its anarchic charm in the 50-something years since its original release. The Beatles would go on to star in the full-colour feature Help, the TV special Magical Mystery Tour, and the documentary Let It Be, as well as lending their name and songs, but not much else, to the animated Yellow Submarine. But it doesn't get any better than this. Mm -hmm. 